Hey everybody, welcome back to Miko and Georgie's channel. For today's video, we will show you how we brush Miko and Georgie's fur and why it's important to do it. Before we can start brushing away, don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for you to get notified when we have new QCAT videos. Now let's get back to the video. I always start by inspecting their fur and skin for any bald patches, wounds, initial bumps, and signs of fleas and ticks. Now that we have finished checking, we will begin brushing. I always start by stroking their back first to know if they are in a good mood. And then I begin to gently brush the areas where they like to be petted. We always want to make sure not to go to the sensitive areas if they don't want us to. A good rule of thumb if you aren't sure how to brush a cat is to always brush from head to toe or brush in the direction the fur grows or brush one section at a time. Brushing their fur will help remove all the built-up grease, dirt, dead fur that are hanging or wedged in between, and skin flakes. It will also help stimulate blood circulation, improve their overall skin health, and a good way to build a trusting relationship with your cat. To make the experience more fun for Mika and Georgie, I always try to give them treats while or after we brush them to make it something special that they want to do. Comment down below what type of treats you guys give to your beloved pets. Now we don't need to go overboard and brush them every day, but remember, cats are good at brushing their own fur, so we brush them once or twice a week. The tools we use to brush Miko and Georgie are the short hair furminator, furminator hair collection brush, and regular metal cat brush. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoy watching this video. 